Today I'm here with the one and only Elon Musk. Elon, thanks for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me. So what have you done or what uh, did you do that um, set you up to be a big impact? Well, I think first of all, I should say that I do not expect to be involved in all these things. So the, 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 the five things that I thought about at the time in, in college, so quite a long time ago, uh, 25 years ago, um, you know, being, you know, making life multi-planetary, um, accelerating, accelerating the transition to sustainable energy, um, the, the internet, broadly speaking, um, and, and then genetics and AI. Where do you get your internal strength to face off people that uh, go against your innovations? Well, first of all, I'd say I actually think I, I think I fear, feel fear quite strongly. Um, so it's not as though I just have the absence of fear. I, I feel it quite strongly. Um, but there, there are just times when something is important enough, you believe in it enough, that you, you do it in spite of the fear. What do you think the odds of um, of the Mars colony are at this point? At this point, I am certain there is a way. I'm certain that success is one of the possible outcomes for establishing a self-sustaining Mars colony, in fact, a growing Mars colony. I'm certain that that is possible. Um, whereas, until maybe a few years ago, I was not sure that success was even one of the possible outcomes. S some meaningful number of people going to Mars, I, th I think this is potentially something that can be accomplished in about 10 years, um, maybe sooner, uh, maybe nine years. Um, I need to make sure that SpaceX doesn't die between now and then, and that I don't die, or if I do die, that someone takes over who will continue that. So what do you allocate most of your time to? My time is mostly split, uh, well, split between SpaceX and, and, and Tesla, and of course I, I try to spend um, uh, a part of every week at OpenAI, um, so I spend most I spend basically half a day at OpenAI most weeks, um, and then and then I have some OpenAI stuff that happens during the week. How do you think the uh, company OpenAI is going uh, six months in right now? I think it's going pretty well. I think we've got a really talented group at OpenAI, and yeah, really really talented team, and they're working hard. So, what do you do when you're in the Tesla and SpaceX headquarters? Uh, yeah, so that's a good question. Um, I think a lot of people think I, I must spend a lot of time with media or, or on businessy things, but actually almost, uh, almost all my time, like 80% of it is spent on engineering and design. In engineering and design, so it's um, developing the next generation product, at, that's 80% of it. How should someone figure out how um, they can be the most useful? Well, first of all, I, th I think um, if, if somebody is doing something that is useful to the rest of society, I think that's a good thing. Like, it doesn't have to change the world. Like, you know, um, if you're doing something that has high value to, to people, um, and, and frankly, even if it's something, if it's like um, just a little game um, or, you know, the <laughs> some improvement in photo sharing or something, if it, if it, has, if it has a small amount of, of good uh, for a large number of people, so, wouldn't the internet latency be a problematic in Mars? Yeah, the internet latency would be pretty significant. Um, I mean, Mars is roughly 12 light minutes from the sun, and Earth is 8 light minutes, so at closest approach, Mars is 4 light minutes away. At furthest approach, is 20. A little more, because you, you can't sort of talk directly. 